Hey Nicole, are you hey. ready to have this Jeep park itself and I, show how it works? I am ready to have the Jeep park itself. We're going to push the little uh, park sense button and see if it will parallel park for me in that narrow little space, space between the Wrangler and the Dart. Well, as our technology editor, this is right up your streak. It is. We'll see if it works. Go for it. Okay, pushing the button. Did you get the active? Yeah. Uh, yep, button is pushed. I have my little map up there so we can see what I'm supposed to do. Look at this. There's a little <laughs> Easter egg hidden in the Cherokee. You see those two little vehicles? Those are old Jeeps from days gone by. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> All right, go for it. Okay. There's the parking space. Now what should happen is the car should see the parking space and then all Nicole has to do is put it in reverse, take her hands off the wheel and the car will automatically back up. Did I find it? Yes, stop and remove hands from the wheel. All right, go Shift for it. Shift to reverse, move now just backwards. Control the brake. Ah! Look at that, that's crazy. Do you know how hard it is to not touch the steering wheel? It looks like I'm praying as this wheel is turning. All right, Nicole, is that easy peasy or what? That was super easy. It totally worked. It that. parked the car. There we go. It worked. It did it. I'm in a parking space. Well, you know, the cool thing about the Jeep, Nicole, is that it not only will park itself like this, but it'll also park itself in a perpendicular space. Yes, yeah, so you have two situations where you don't have to think about it. You push a button and the car does it for you. As always, this is Roman. And I'm Nicole. Saying thanks for watching and see you next time on... The Fast Lane Car. All right, have fun. Bye. Bye. This is a brand new Range Rover Sport, and it kind of fits in the middle of Range Rover's lineup. It's above the Evoque and below the Range Rover, so it has to fill that gap. It competes with cars like the BMW X5 and even the Porsche Cayenne, but unlike those cars, this Range Rover has a heritage it has to live up to. It has to be good off-road, and Range Rover says it's excellent on-road. So, coming up next on the fast lane car, we're going to take it off-road, we're going to take it on-road, and we're going to see just how well it does when the going gets fast and when the going gets rough.